Hi everyone, I'm Fiona McIntosh and I'm here today talking about my fabulous new adventure called The Diamond Hunter. Normally my stories, I have a sort of an easy bouncing off point um, and I could pinpoint where the, the kernel of the story came from. But in the case of, of The Diamond Hunter, all I knew is I needed to make it so wildly different to The Pearl Thief that it couldn't bear very good comparison. So it was a very strategic move by me, um, based on cowardice really. The actual setting being Africa, and not just easy Africa, it wasn't Cape Town, um, it was in the middle of the Karoo Desert. And just getting there was hard work. Um, and then living there for a while was hard work and then stomping down diamond mines, old Victorian diamond mines, and um, sort of walking through old cemeteries, all of that, every bit of it was a hurdle and a challenge, and there was nothing easy about it. And I suppose one of the great risks I did take in this story, and it's it sort of shown through the cover, is that um, it starts and, and relies very heavily on the life of a child. The other aspect of the story that I felt was risky is that it's not a thumping love story. The romance in this story is about friendship. It's about two diverse people, one an adult, one a child, one an African Zulu, the other this heiress um, and this unbreakable bond that they form in Africa and it's the most beautiful relationship I think I've ever written. And the surprise that came through, I suppose, with this story is that I grew up in Africa and I didn't realize until I'd finished the story that I was actually channeling a relationship that I had with a wonderful um, African, uh, a Ghanaian who worked with my father in our house. And um, he and I were the best, best, best of friends. But that aside, you know, this is still, um, a big drama full of full of love full of betrayal full of all the usual stuff we love so i'm hoping everybody will really enjoy it and um, enjoy it as much as i enjoyed writing it